Hi, welcome to Bristol Street Mowers. I'm here to guide you round the all new Peugeot E2008, a 100% electric vehicle. Over the previous model, you can see that Peugeot have really taken this vehicle to the next level with its bold new design. With notable features, you've got your LED headlights, Fang LED daytime running lights. You also have the color matched front grille. This is specific to the electric vehicle. You also have the Lion badge prominent on the front with its blue feature here to again symbolize the electric. You have your front parking sensors, down here you'll notice the grill dipping in. This is because the vehicle has a radar which then helps it with its adaptive cruise control. With the Allure 2008 you get these beautiful diamond cut gloss black 17 inch wheels. Moving on from the wheel you've got your e-badge here which symbolizes the full electric side of the vehicle. This is an Allure but it does have the optional gloss black roof and wing mirrors as you can see here. The car is equipped with Peugeot open and go system as an option as well. So you simply walk up to the vehicle with your key in the pocket and the vehicle will open. Once you walk away from the vehicle, it will lock. Moving further back on your rear door, it's a nice wide opening for accessibility, child seats, elderly parents, anyone can get in this car, no problem. You then have your dark tinted window privacy glass. Moving around to the back of the vehicle, you'll see the rear privacy glass follows around to the rear window. You then have the gorgeous full LED rear claw lights with dynamic 3D design. Between them, you have the high gloss finish, which emphasizes the Peugeot badge on the back. You'll notice the Lion has blue elements to it, if you look closely, to symbolize that it is a fully electric vehicle. Non-standard to this vehicle, you have the rear park assist camera as well. It becomes standard from the GT line specification. And then you have your rear parking sensors down here. So now let's show you the boot. Nice and easy to open, lightweight. Inside, you will have your charging cable case, complete with charging cable. You also have a modular boot floor, which will lift up and slide down. However, if you don't need the extended space, your charging case fits under just like that. So here I am driving the brand new Peugeot E2008. We're in the Allure specification of the car. So it's a step up from the entry level, gives you a lot more comfort and a lot more things to play around with as well. First thing you'll notice as well straight away is how quiet it is in here. It's, it's dead silent, there's no engine noise. So it's a big thing to get used to because we're all used to hearing gears and revving and engine sounds. And then once you get away from the fact that there's no noise coming from the car, you notice the beautiful 3D eye cockpit in front of you, which is an all new thing in the 2008 and the new 208. So it's 3D. So from a different perspective, you can see the different layers of the cockpit, but it just gives you this brilliant futuristic display, as you can see in front of me, which is fully customizable as well. Now this is designed to act as its own head-up display for you as well. So that's why you'll see that the steering wheel always sits below where the cockpit is. So you're always looking ahead, but you can always see your information that you require. You'll also notice that with it being three-dimensional, it does give, you can see certain information is bring brought further forward or further back, but this is customizable as well. So using the controls on the steering wheel, you can switch between the different inputs. So for example, you can have your navigation showing on your cockpit. So once you've set a destination, it'll show you directions, or if not, it'll just tell you where you are. So you can see we're on Primrose Drive. If we were to drive off, it would then update when we went onto different roads, but you can still see all the important information around you as well. And then once you step away from that, you've got this over here, which is the 10 inch capacitive touchscreen, which again is an upgrade from the standard screen, which is normally a seven inch screen. Gives you a wider panoramic display with more access to things like climate control at the beck and touch of your finger all the options above there to get into to change around things. All touchscreen based up here. You've also got your piano keys and touch sensitive keys behind them as well. So the piano keys control some minor functions, things like turning your fans off, hazard lights, door locking, heated screen. Whereas your inputs are controlled by the black bits just over here. So if I want to go to my music, I simply select that there. 
while I'm on the screen, if I want to get into my list of stations, I can scroll through here. I can scroll up the screen and go back from there. Or I can change my source so I can use my Android Auto, so I can use the music from my phone. Or if I just want it to Bluetooth a device to the car, I can utilize that as well. You've then got your fan speed and climate control, so you can change your temperature. Your fan speed on the left here. Fan direction, or you can just set the automatic and air conditioning here, which I tend to do. I find it a little bit easier. You then have your built-in satellite navigation, again standard with the 10 inch screen. If you were to have the 7 inch screen, it doesn't have the navigation though. You then have your driving functions and vehicle settings. So you can go into things like comfort, door locking options, how your headlights behave. And then you've got things like your traction control, parking sensors, which you'll want to have on. You've got two options for connectivity in the car. The left is your USB-C, which is simply a charging port for any device that can take a USB-C cable. And on your right, you've got a standard USB slot for plugging in any Android Auto or Apple CarPlay compatible device. You then have your telephone connectivity. So as I've got my phone plugged in via Android Auto, it just pulls up my phone on here. So I can use my Spotify. I can then go home, I can access my calls and contacts. If you don't use Android Auto, however, if you have an iPhone, you can utilize Apple CarPlay, which is exactly the same sort of thing. And then you can get car apps as well. So you've got your energy functions, which will show you how you're utilizing your energy in the car, just like you were on the display over here as well. And again, with this car, it has got the optional heated seats, which are again, touch sensitive controls there for driver or for the passenger seat as well. In between your two charging points, you'll notice this panel here, if I push down from the top, it gives us access to our wireless smartphone charging plate. So any QI wireless charging compatible device can be put in here and it will charge while it is in there and then you can just close it up. It takes away any temptation to access your phone while it's in there. Below your charging plate, you've got your little Colby hole here which you can pop your keys in, your wallet, whatever else you've got in your car, your hand sanitizer and your mask probably these days. You've then also got your trusty 12 volt charging socket for whatever you require, picnic hamper, I can't think of anything else you should use a 12 volt for. A fridge? Who would have a fridge? One thing I do love about these is the steering wheel. So it's a compact, smaller design to make it more agile, easier to turn. So when you get into the tighter bends, it's, you haven't got to throw a big steering wheel around. It is just a, a nice, easy turn, which you'll see coming up here. It's all nice, easy movements. And then you've still got controls down on here at the same time, so you've got access to your volume for your stereo, changing your dials, changing your radio station, answering your calls. So you haven't got to move away from the important bits of the controls. And I love how comfortable this car is. It's just, I can barely feel the bumps in the road. So another thing to note, is how instant the power is. In any automatic you've driven before, there's always that little bit of waiting time. Whereas in this, because of the power delivery of electric, it's just there. So you don't have to wait for the engine to warm up, spool up. You just put your foot down and it's just instantaneous power. It's brilliant. So now we're in the back of the car. As you can see, I've got plenty of headroom above me, plenty of legroom. You've also got your backseat pockets for putting all of your items in, coloring books if you've got kids, stuff like that. You've then got your two USB charging points down here. So kids these days, they love their tablets, so you can keep them charged and entertained while, they're, while you're on the road. You've then got your adjustable headrest in the back so that you can make sure you're nice and comfy. And you've also got your ISOFIX points down in both rear seats for securing your child seats as well. If you'd like any more information on the Peugeot E2008 or to arrange a test drive, please log on to bristolstreet.co.uk.